Nails, Fails and Some Prevails by Polish Blissfully. What's up guys? So as you could tell by the title, this is the long awaited video for my new updated nail space. So I'm going to go through everything. It may be a bit of a long video, so grab something to drink and I do hope you enjoy. So welcome to my little corner. So this is basically a corner in my bedroom that I've basically dedicated to nail and beauty. So we'll start off at my desk. The only thing that's really changed about the desk is that we've added some contact paper on top and also to the drawers. My chair now has a little plush blanket and a nice little cute pink pillow. I added some new knobs and as you can see I still like to keep everything quite minimal on the top of my desk. So we'll start at this wall here and this is basically a little DIY project as well these are some mixed metal makeup brush holders that I made from little silver cutlery pots that I picked up from B&M I spray painted them with two shades of gold one in rose gold and one in a, like a metallic gold and added a little marble ribbon and they're hanging on contact hooks and I just think they look fantastic I also spray painted the contact hooks as well this is Ollie in Bentley's bed and they sit protecting my little nail space. <laughs> I still have the same nail polish rack on the corner of the wall here and this basically just houses all of my nails ink, Cutio polishes and HJ manicure. I have this little polish sign that my friend Tracy made me. Thank you Tracy if you're watching. This little hexagon shelf now has my makeup brushes. I have this little rose gold mirror, a couple of pots to hold cotton pads for my face and nails, my nail dryer and also my nail file. So in the first drawer of my dresser I have the, these are my, this is my skincare drawer. So basically everything from face masks to moisturisers, serums, everything's in here. So the first pot is basically night creams, day creams, serums, eye creams, that kind of thing. And in the next pot, this is basically everything I use to remove my makeup as well as, as um, cleanser and toner. Um, so yeah, that's everything for the first drawer. Um, so this little pot here has like lip scrubs, the black mask, some floss, because everybody's got to floss those teeth. And yeah, on to the next drawer. This is all everything I use when I come out of the shower. So it's got like um, body butters, body scrubs, that kind of thing. As you can see, I don't like to keep a lot of products. Most of my products are, I've only got one or two. And that's because I only buy products that I need when I've ran out of something. So the next one's got all of my deodorants and things like that. Foot files, foot cream, earbuds and my razor. In this next one, this is all hair products. So I have things like um, my little headband to hold my hair up when I'm putting masks on, bobbles, my hairbrush, leave-in conditioner masks, um, makeup, uh, not makeup, <laughs> sorry, um, hair heat protecting sprays and that kind of thing. The bottom drawer, that's just basically junk. And yeah, that's everything for my desk area. Above the desk, I still have the same two lamps. My daylight lamp and this little white lamp that I got from Amazon. The same two nail polish racks, housing 98% of my indies. So I basically haven't got any re rhyme or reason to it. I just added them by brand. Colour doesn't really bother me as long as I could see them. At the top of the shelves, I have some spare stampers and a little DIY picture that I made from the same contact paper as my desk. And yeah, onto these two shelves on the wall, as you could see, they've went white and that's because we added some contact paper on them. Above that, as you could see, I added some really nice, colourful Chanel perfume bottle art that I picked up from eBay. In this little rose gold basket is basically all my products that are new so 
if I'm running out of a product, I'll buy it and then I'll stick it in there until the product's used so I can put it in my drawers. So on the shelf, in this first acrylic holder, this is basically everything I reach for the most. So it's got like nail polish remover, cuticle remover, hand sanitizer. Um, this little makeup brush is my Nana's and I just keep it there to remind me of her. She's passed away, so that's just my little um, keepsake. I have some of these lipsticks. These are all my favourite lipsticks. The first four are by Picture Polish. The next three are by MAC. Then we have one by um, Line Crime. And then some drugstore ones. And these little containers bits, I have like fluffy brushes to remove glitter, that kind of thing. Foil glue, stampers, a little bottle of alcohol. And yeah, that's it for the first acrylic holder. Beside that, I have this little makeup bag with eyes on it. And these, that's just got all of my water decals. And the little book beside that is where I write all my nail art ideas. In this next acrylic drawers, um, I picked these up from B&M, the same as the one up, up above it. The first drawer has nail drill bits, nets for nail art, that kind of thing. Just a lot of like junk, really. The next one has some striping tape. Then below that is all my nail powders from Indigo Nails and one from Moira. And then below that is all my crystals and nail art bling. I just have some rose gold decorative pieces. This one is from just like a little ansing from Hobbycraft. Then I have this little pineapple, the candle you saw in my last haul and a little rose gold jewellery set that my partner got me. So I have this little six cubes, that's a new thing as well, but above that I have these three cubes that are like um, little shelves. And on these I just have some rose gold succulent plants, um, a little reed diffuser that says apple orchid, that kind of thing. It smells amazing. In this little cake holder on top of these six cubes is basically all my perfumes and a little Chanel picture. So in the first cube is basically where I house the cup from my last haul and in that cup is basically just all of my washi tape, nail tape, that kind of thing. Some of these little brushes, these are just here for show and my favourite perfume and a room spray. And the one beside that is the smaller version of the basket that you saw up above and this has basically just got spare nail files, nail buffers, gloves, face masks for when I'm using my drill, that kind of thing. And the little box below it is empty at the moment. So below that, in the next two shelves, this one has my Seattle nail art book, a little potted plant and my sunglasses. This bag has some medication in it, some dotting tools and a little skull candle. And the last two on the six cubes is the rest of my nail art brushes and on this little stand is handstand basic haha <laughs> handstand god is basically all my rings that i take for nail art and the one beside that is just a little storage drawer that's actually empty at the moment and that's it for the six cubes um yeah and the, the cubes are actually sitting on my Helmer drawers. Everything just fits into this little corner perfect. So I'm just going to go from first to the next first drawer, so on and so forth. So in this one is basically the first pot there. It's got base coats, top coats. Then it's got my liquid latex and the white and black nail polish. The first drawer on the next one is, this is all my gel products. So it has like my gel for enhancing my nails. Um everything that I need for gel nails from gel paints to 3D pastes everything basically gel related next is my drawer for cuticle care this one's got all my cuticle oils cuticle butters anything to do with um, repairing a broken nail and some larger cuticle products at the back there this is all of my mainstream nail polish so this has all of my china glaze all of my OPIs, some Leighton Denny, that kind of thing. This one has all of my hand creams. So I have a mix from 
Nivea to Dove to everything in between, really. This is my bling drawer, and this house is everything 3D nail art related. Some glitter mixes, um, all of my Swarovski crystals, um, and all of these little nail art wheels that I pick up because I think they're amazing price, and some of them are really great quality. Um, so yeah, and here is all of my glitter mixes and nail pigments. This one is my leftover indie polishes as well, as well as some ring pops. This is all of my nail files and cuticle files, um, that kind of thing. This is my gel drawer. It's got a mix of brands in it from OPI to China Glaze, everything else. This one is all of my liquid, so it's acetone, um, acrylic nail remover, that kind of thing. And then the, the very last one is my stamping supplies. So another new piece of furniture is this mam drawer. I, I totally wanted to avoid the Alex drawers after the basically the bottom popped out of my sex drawer. I think they're not that great anymore. So yeah, I went for the mam drawer. I find it a lot more sturdier. And on top of that, I just have a mainstay candle in peach and mango. That smells amazing. A DIY vase with a little green leaf in it. Um, a little rose gold mirror and a little wire basket that holds all my lip balms. So on top of this, it has this little thing that you like lift up and it's got a mirror and things on it for jewellery. So I just house, this house is basically all of my jewellery. So it's costume jewellery, some of it's um, real, a lot of it's gifts that I got from family, friends, my boyfriend, that kind of thing. Um... Yeah, this is my favourite one. It's a little rose gold and pink guest bracelet. So yeah, that's all of my jewellery. And the, uh, the next three drawers, this is where I house my makeup. So in the first one, this is all face products. So face powders, setting powders, um, my matte concealer palette, um, f primers. My two foundations that I've got at the moment is... Naked Skin by Urban Decay and Instant Radiance by Number 7. These are my basically ride or die. I absolutely love them. So I have a second bottle of Instant Radiance because that one's almost finished. I had this beautifully matte one. I don't actually like it. So I actually should throw that in the bin. It's just made me remember that. Beside that is primers. So I have some by Number 7 and some by Nivea. Um... I also have some MAC primers in that just in the bottom there. This is all of my concealers. Um, by Benefit, some by Urban Decay. And in this little compartment here, this is all my blushes. So I have some by Elizabeth Arden, some by MAC. And I also at the side there have my Urban Decay setting spray as well as some white foundation because I can never find a foundation light enough for me. These are some MAC Prep and Prime. I absolutely adore this stuff. I had so many of these little tubes, but they're almost finished, so I think I'm going to buy the full size product. In the next drawer, this is basically everything eye-related, so it's got all of my liquid eyeliners, um, mascara. I've got two at the moment. The one that I'm using just now is by Urban Decay, and it's their perversion one and then I picked up a MAC one because that one's almost finished. This is all my brow products. Um, so there's a mix of brands, Smashbox, Benefit, that kind of thing. These are all my tools, sharpeners, eyelash curlers, tweezers and scissors. And here is where I keep my um, eye bases. So I have Soft Ochre and Painterly by MAC. Some by NYX and some Jumbo NYX pencils as well. And in this odd drawer, I have some baby wipes because everybody needs baby wipes. My extensions are in this bag here. Some extra lip products that didn't quite make it to the bin but also didn't fit in my rack. My eyeshadow palettes. Now I've reduced myself down to three eyeshadow palettes. Um, and that's the first Urban Decay Naked palette the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette and the Lime Crime Venus palette. And my bronzer palette is the Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers and it's basically got everything I need for about a year. <laughs> 
so yeah that's the it for my makeup collection and now on to the last few drawers this is where i keep all of my nail art supp supplies in this first drawer i have some nail glue and that type of thing in this little pot i have some practice fake nails at the side there and then i have a few of these plastic containers which hold the rest of my nail art products so in this little HJ manicure box, as you've saw this before, and I'm having a whale of a time trying to open it. <laughs> so yeah, this is just basically all of my 3D nail art. So it's just things like bows, um, cabochons, that kind of thing. So I keep everything in there. It's a mix of brands, Born Pretty Store, AliExpress, Charlie's Nail Art, everything like that. The same with the little glitter container. You've saw that before. So now i'll show you this little new box that i picked up this box is from b&m and it basically houses all of my water decals that are too big or in packets also my stickers and as you can see they've all got their own little bags so everything's sorted in its own bag so the nail foils have a bag the stickers have a bag everything has its own place and i put it all inside that plastic box which fits in that drawer perfectly and below that is all my acrylic paints, watercolour paints. The brands are various. Um, some Pebio and some Deco Nail Art. Uh, Deco Art, sorry. And in the last drawer here of this mam dresser is basically where I keep all my stamping plates. Some extra stampers. Some extra cotton pads. And that kind of thing. And yeah, everything just sits perfectly in there. And one of the silver pots that are the same as my brush holder. That just holds all my Sharpies. And yeah, that's my collection, guys. As you can see, everything's changed. I've got rid of so much. But I'm really happy with the amount that I've got at the moment. And I'm liking how it looks. As I promised before, I will show you a room tour when everything's finished. But nothing's quite there yet. So yeah. Please give this a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you like this video and want to see more, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.